This is Benny Rods and Nathan Goodley here with your Saturday Night Forecast. Well, don't forget to move your clocks ahead one hour before you go to bed tonight as daylight saving time begins. We'll jump ahead to 3 a.m. by the time we get to the 2 a.m. hour tonight. Here's a look at future cast. We've been tracking overcast skies throughout the day today. Finally starting to see some peaks of sunshine as we progress into tonight. Still look for mostly cloudy skies, though, and we're going to develop some spotty lake enhanced precipitation. Yeah, we're going to see some spotty snow showers overnight coming off of Lake Michigan thanks to gusty winds. Could see some gusts up to 25 miles per hour overnight. That'll create an added chill in the air as you head out the door early Sunday morning with temperatures around the 30 degrees. Mark. Bundle up all day long on Sunday. It's going to be feeling like winter as we'll track mostly cloudy skies. Still some spotty lake enhanced precipitation and will only climb up to a high temperature of 37 degrees in the Summit City. Now we're finally going to see some decrease in the clouds by the time we get to late in the day. That'll send the stage for a nice clear night across the area Sunday night, which will send the temperatures down into the 20s, down to 26 degrees in Fort Wayne. Going to see some strong winds though all throughout the day Sunday. Could see some gusts up to 45 miles per hour at times, especially during the afternoon. That'll make it feel like the teens or the 20s at times as we progress throughout the day. So really just going to be a good day to stay inside as we wrap up the weekend. Take a look at the exclusive 10-day forecast. A nice sunny day though on Mondays. We get up to 56 degrees and the 60s return the time gets the day on Tuesday. We'll stay in the 60s through the rest of the work week. We track some rain chances making a return once again, especially on Thursday and Friday. But we're cooling back down over the weekend. We're back in the 40s by Sunday on St. Patrick's Day. And we're set to stay there through the rest of the 10-day forecast as spring begins there at the end.